I was very confident about the mechanism of the cancer, diabetes. I was so confident that I really know how to prevent. <laughs> Forget about treatment. I'm teaching nutritional biochemistry, so that uh, I was so confident, you know, uh, that you know that uh, I know even what type of diet to use, you know. Cancer is the third leading cause of death in Kenya, leading cancers in Kenya in women, breast cancer with an estimated rate of approximately 34 out of 100,000 of the population, according to the National Cancer Registry. It is followed by cervical cancer that accounts for 8 to 10 percent. Whereas in men, prostate cancer is the commonest cancer amongst males at 17.3 percent, followed by esophageal cancer at approximately 9 per 100,000. Dr. Elena Korir, a Russian national who found home in Kenya in 1988 and pursued her interest in biochemistry, in which she became a lecturer at Kenyatta University. I got a, a small lump uh, on the top of my breast, and you know, it, is, uh, it was uh, uh, sticking out, you know, because my complexion is so small. So that my breast was small, it, the first thing came to my mind, it must be, <laughs> what, what, this is what, uh, what I have, it, is a, it must be a cancer. Interestingly, outside the assumptions of the general public of an academician, Dr. Elena sought medical help from rather unconventional means and with quite damning results. Decided to go to see Habales. Uh, his approach of this disease was to activate the immune system. So after six months, you know, my uh, uh, maybe immune system was activated, but uh, it was somehow progressing to the worse. I have seen a, a Russian scientist who tried to, to, to give me some, again, uh, the medicine which is extracted from the fungi. So I tried with him like for two months. It was, it was not better. It as much as you can. But perhaps conventional medicine was to be a viable means to deal with this cancer. But in both private and public hospitals, a level of laxity and outright negligence was to be part for her search of treatment. The medical services uh, uh, in Kenya were not, uh, were not cheap. So it was December, she said that uh, if you want to use, uh, you, you use NHIF insurance, so uh, it... Uh, I can process your documents so that you can proceed for the test only in the end of the January or in the beginning of the February. According to statistics from the Ministry of Health in Kenya, over 10,000 Kenyans go abroad yearly for cancer treatment, spending a fortune of over 10 billion shillings. And there's a unique reason for this. In India, it was, uh, we did the same uh, testing. So only what we use are more advanced, so and we can confirm the, the diagnosis of the Kenyan doctors that I have advanced, uh, uh, advanced cancer. For her treatment? Uh, we prescribe an uh, interest in chemotherapy. In Kenya, you know that chemotherapy is very standard. It is a uh, one uh, chemo session in three months. It is very toxic. You, you, you vomit, you know, but there are so many side effects. In India, we prescribe me uh, a very low dose of uh, chemos, so, but uh, every, every week. This is why it is uh, 12, you know. But how does a professional deal with trauma, owing to the no, fact that they have factual knowledge of dealing and avoiding that trauma? Because all human beings deal with tragedy or trauma in ways that they know best. So some of us are more feelings-based in how we process things, and others are more thought-based. So what we'd call intuitive, that's feelings-based, versus instrumental, so thought-based or cognitive-based. So the lady you describe probably operates more from a cognitive perspective in how she deals with her challenges than she does from a feelings perspective. And what is the role of medical professionals who deal with cancer patients? One area in which we have not developed capacity is in the area of psycho-oncology. So psycho-oncology is now the psychological and probably even through an emotional treatment of cancer with all sorts of illness. I'll call it a chunk. A good chunk of why it is that people recover from illness is actually psychological. 
Cancer is the third leading cause of death in Kenya, so we are all affected by it. But with proper medication and a good psychological support, we may stand a chance against it. Kristin Kamau, KUTV.